Hey, Don McDowell from Don McDowell Outdoors. I'm here with my good friend, uh, Congressman Paul Golsar from Congressional District Number 4 here in Arizona. But, you know, I've told you before, this guy's a really good congressman for Arizona, but everybody else that lives in America, man, he's working hard for you. Look, you guys know we've been embedded uh, with CBP five times down on the border, rolling around in the dirt with him down there and trying to protect the habitat. And uh, Congressman, I know you've been down there. Uh, we're looking at the Sonoran Desert. There's only one on the planet. It's actually right. We own it. We own it. They we have to take it. care of it. What's happening to it down there in your eyes? It's being destroyed and everybody that has been there knows it's a fragile habitat, the Sonoran uh, Desert. And it's being overrun, it's being trashed, it's being gutted. I mean, uh, there's, yeah. no, there's no care about it. And if we care about the critters, we care about the environment, we can care about and the, the this splendid and and fragile uh, ecosphere yeah. of this, we got to start looking at this from another perspective. Not just the mass immigration coming across the border, but what it's doing to this fragile ecosystem. Well, it's you you're, you hit it on the head. Uh, the last cleanup we were on down there, we had over 40 tons of trash. Not plastic bottles, clothes, plastic bags. It, it's it, you've seen it. Yep, carpet. It, it's astounding. Uh, we need the wall. You know, we support uh, the uh, Trump administration for all the good things that they did. And, uh, you know, I'm afraid we're going to lose it. Let, let me ask you this. Uh, you and I have had long conversations about federal lands going back to the state. Mm -hmm. One of my big fears today is Tracy Stone Manning, yep. a known terrorist for spiking trees in 1989 as a member of Earth First, mm -hmm. is now in charge of BLM. Right. How do we fight that as conservationists? Well, what we have to do is we have to take our plight to the courts. You know, if she makes a, a protocol that we don't agree with, what you know, what happened during the Trump administration? Yeah. You know, they took it towards the, the courts. And that's why I've been a big outspoken pr person about the Ninth Circuit. So much goes through the Ninth Circuit that doesn't make sense. We should be making those changes on the Ninth Circuit. And then we ought to be breaking away from the Ninth Circuit into the Twelfth oh, Circuit. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I know you're going through redistricting. Can you get us uh, redistricting, get us out of the Ninth Circuit? Well, it sure be nice, <laughs> but it's due time. I mean, you know, they have four times the backlog of oh, any yeah. other court that has been divided up. And, you know, we're dissimilar from from California. Yeah. You know, we actually make sense about the things that we do. We want clean water. We want clean air. We want clean land. We want to ha preserve habitats. But we also want people to enjoy it because if you don't enjoy it, you're going to lose it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, California's on, uh, California is definitely on fire. And I've suggested on here that maybe we build a wall along the Colorado River to keep the Californians over there because they come over here not liking California. And they want to turn Arizona into, guess what? Yeah, California. California. Well, we also <laughs> hear about the San Andreas Fault, too, Don. You oh, know, come maybe, on. Maybe it would come go, on. And maybe it becomes a, you know, an island to itself. And that would be perfect, the Republic of California out in the Pacific. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, God love you. I know you guys have got a fight back there. We support you uh, every inch in the way. And Andy Biggs and uh, uh, Bob Bart from Colorado that we talked to today, mm -hmm. you guys are doing a great job. You let us know how we can support you. And you guys, it's important. Don't don't let your con your congressional representatives not hear from you. Call them, call them, yeah. email them, send them. Absolutely. That, you know, that we serve you, and you are the government. You are the government. And you have to know all the things that go behind the scenes to make your decisions. That is key. And, you know, what about you? You do make a difference. So get involved. If this means something to you, it's for the, for the future. You know, remember, people, you can't take this where, where you're going to end up going. <laughs> so why don't you take care of stuff? That's the big key. Now you got the opportunity to see what's going wrong. We're, the, the, the rule of law is being defied. Think about this border crisis. We're bringing over 2 million people that are violating the law when we bring in 1 million people who obey the law, coming in legally to this country. Oh, yeah. So we're, this, this administration is wanton about getting away from the rule of law, and that's where it jeopardizes you. Time to stand up and be counted. Absolutely. And remember, let's go, Brandon. I'm <laughs> Don McDowell. Thanks. Okay, buddy. Oh, use the, use the button. <laughs>